Warning, graphic pest control video ahead. Do not watch if you might be offended. If, however, you really like watching pest control videos, then hello again and welcome to the Squirrel Hunter channel. Please continue and watch us as we control pest populations with silenced air rifles here in the UK. If you have any questions, can you please check the description below first to see if it's already been answered and for some useful links. Thank you. This is the 31st of July 2017. No prizes for guessing where Bro is at this moment in time. Is that our favourite rat permission? I've just shown you all. He's chucked a bit of bait down, which is in the form of the chicken feed they love so much, in locations where he thinks he might see some rats later on. As you can plainly see here, it's food causing them to come out of their cover in broad daylight. Quite a few of them, aren't there? It's very difficult to shoot them in the nettles, though. They need something to cause them to stick their nose out. Bro's only having a bit of a look about at the moment. Quite surprised to see this lot. Didn't think to have his rifle with him. Because it's so light. Not sure what that is. Maybe it's a rat. Or maybe it isn't, I don't know. There's holes in the ground there. They set up home next to the food source. That's pretty much what they do anywhere. The food's there for a reason. It's there to feed the livestock. And this is what happens. We had a good old film with these. Just pay to try and work out what their habits are first. But I can bet inside he was dying to pull the trigger on them. Pick out the fattest one possible. You see there's bit of a head poking up in the middle there, just an eye showing. That's all you would need with a night vision. Stick a pellet in it. All sorts of sizes. Now it's got dark, he's got his Air Arms S510 and 177, night sight NS50 on. All this evening he'd be launching the RWS Super Mags at them. Got a heavy flat-headed pellet. Do a very good job in knocking the rats down. See, he's come across a feeding party. What are they doing? They're eating the bait he put down. So it's well worth the effort if you know what they like, and we know they like the food here. Nice big fat rat down. Nicely done there, bro. They can smell it quite well from there, the holes wafting towards them, and when they stick their heads up, they become an easy target. We usually shoot off sticks if you don't know already. Come to an area, have a quick look around. Not sure what happened there. They're all running for cover. Maybe they clock bro in a bit of moonlight, maybe. They look a bit nervy to me, dashing in and out. And they sit back away. They think they're safe. This is the problem, see? When they're like that, they're very difficult shots. Is he going to take one? Yes. Knocks it back down the hole. Got to pick your moments. Rather kill them or not shoot them at all. Can be quite prolific here. We have given it a hiding lately. This is the end of the warmer months as winter draws on and the nights get darker earlier we will be going more often to this location we'll put more pressure on them this year once all the food is harvested from the fields around the area this becomes a pretty big magnet for them much to the owner's annoyance so we'll be coming more often to keep the numbers down the upturn trailer can be quite prolific sometimes. That one drops to the ground and causes another one to stick its head out. Quick reload. The slick cocking mechanism from the Air Arms S510 side lever. That one almost stayed too long. Another target there. It's good when you get two or three in one location like that. That one thought it was safe as well, sat up inside. I think the others have got the message. Tend to find on this location 
that certain areas can be quite active. Unfortunately, probes forgot to reload. It's the trouble with the dry fire. Firing the rifle with no pellet in. No mistake there though. Once we've decided on an area that's quite active, we tend to forget other areas and concentrate on them. I think he missed that one. Close miss though. Does that come back again or is that another one? It's not hanging around, is it? Bro's going to dally here for a while. Sometimes pays. There we go. There's another head sticking out. I think it was a high body shot, actually. Or in the neck. The results are the same, though. You tend to find them in groups a lot. So once you've shot one or two in an area, tend to stay there for a while. And then another night, you'll come... And they won't be in that area, they'll be somewhere else. A quick walk around, you'll soon work it out. Well, that's what we do in this location anyway. Get yeah, another head poking at the sheds. Quite difficult to shoot them in there. When they stick their head out. I do believe Bro got that one. There we go, back to the upturn trailer again. Quite a few meters under there and they feel quite safe. What could go wrong? Bro's not shooting because he can't see the head properly. On the small rats, body shots of the 177 work quite well. His rifle's about 11 to 11.2 foot pounds, nicely under the UK legal limit of 12, and he's shooting within the capabilities of the rifle. There we go. Nice set of eyes, nice and still. Wallop. That was quite close. You put the crosshead a little bit higher. Just to allow for the pellet climb into the crosshairs. It's the duck's bottom. Another rat. It's having a bit of a mooch about. Is that enough head to take a shot at? Have a good sniff about. There we go. Oh, yes. I think he just got caught with a head movement there. Let's have a quick look, shall we? That's the point just before he pulled the trigger and the crosshairs just on the top of the rat's head, so he probably thought it was a bit closer than he should have been. And the rat's head moved. So it was a clean miss. Can he do any better with this? Of course he can. Quite a lot of rubbish around here and they climb on top of it quite often sometimes serves as an advantage we're hoping to sort those nettles out for him next year in the springtime another dry fire there it's one advantage of my rapid don't get them anymore made up for it with that shot though nicely done that's probably about three to four meters under that Upturn trailer. They get left in there, those ones. We can't get down on our hands and knees and climb into that hole. Many years since either of us would have fitted in there. Back of the sheds again. Can't quite get them in the sheds. I'll try and work out where its eye is. Hovering in the right area. That's better. Nicely done there, bro. Well picked out. Starting to build a bit of, of a pile of rats. You can see them in the shed through the mesh. A little bit too much mesh there. Normally the probability is they will go through the mesh. And very often on the big stuff you can line the crosshairs up with it. And the pellet goes straight through and hits the target. Let's run with that shot though. Good headshot. See the same locations popping up over and over again. This bro walks around, shoots an area. Not so good that. Missed the head by the look of it. Trying to get a second shot on that one. 
Did he get it? I think he might have done. Yeah, it looks like it. Off for a wander again. Quite surprising sometimes. You see nothing and if you stand there for a couple of minutes, a set of eyes pop out and get the stick of pellet in the head. This is the classic under the shed one. What's he done? And they sat quite calmly like that, they make a perfect target. Quick scan about. There we go, nosy neighbour. Unfortunately, that one doesn't hang around. These are the targets we like. Nice big fat rats sat out feeding. It's a fatal shot. Looks a little bit off to me. They do a lot of damage, those RWS pellets. I'm not sure if that was a dry fire or a miss. bit more like it, stick your head out. You can see enough of the body to work out where the vital shot was. Picked that very well. I know exactly where this is, it's one of my favourite spots. Back of the wind shed in the field that I used to call the duck pond. Bit of a rat highway there. Look at this lot, all out in a group, another dry fire. We carry several magazines when we go out normally. Well, I used to get dry fires. It was a frantic reloading procedure in the dark where you reach into your pocket, get a full mag out and swap them quickly. Silence their rifle. They don't tend to know what's going on. So first we're still hopping around. I think he missed that second shot. He's missed that set of ice to the right. Bearing in mind. The screen's only a few inches square to look at. No, he's clocked it now. That'll do. Straight on headshot. I think he got it. On to another location. See the little head movements? Almost as bad as squirrels for that. Picked that wrong. That was a clean miss. Easy done. The small rat shot him through the shoulder. But to me, that's a lot worse than go for a headshot and have some kick in. He was clearly mortally wounded. I'd much rather hit him in the head. That's the sort of reaction you get. No doubt in that. I don't mind the movement either. I've seen the description why they kick after a headshot. I'm more than happy they are in fact dead and not in any pain or suffering. That's a perfect shot there. There's another rat behind that jumped in the air in panic by the look of it. No, nope, that one's out of pause. First rat's having a kick. There's definitely more around here somewhere. There's another. Nicely taken there, bro. Nice double. Again, didn't take long for them to pop back out. Bro's pretty deadly tonight. bit more like free hunting this than on the feeders for squirrels. Very often the shots are quite different. In different ranges as well, depending where you see them on your wanders about. Sometimes they're in the sheds, sometimes they're not. A little bit of rat politics going on. 
Nope. Thought they were going to have a bit of an argument. Nope, they're all friends by the look of it. Not standing still, which is rather annoying. But the activity is what to note. They're in this area and they're moving round. So it's a place to come back and have another look in a bit. They set up the side of the very same shed. Support for choice. Perfectly taken. It's one thing looking down the side of a shed. You get presented with nice side on headshots very often. Those pallets on the left you just saw the edge of, they're pretty good as well. He's doing quite well here. Lots of targets. Another eye there, he's missed that one. Or has he? Tried to shuffle over for it, but it disappeared. Did he miss that one? Is that the same one? Or is that another one? It's hard to tell, really. That last one definitely did. Got to pick one. On a few occasions, we've had double rat shots. Myself and bro and brev. You get them side by side. Only once have I ever deliberately managed to get a double headshot on a rat. Lots of I normally go for or look for. When a time will do me. When the opportunity presents itself, the pellets have enough power and enough penetration to go through two rats' heads. They're not hard and the pellets don't bounce off them. Same with the squirrel, really. Whilst they are a tough animal, their skulls are quite thin. The pellet's got more than enough energy to crash through it. And when it does, you see the results there. You end up with a dead rat. And same with the squirrel, really. Nicely taken there. Threaded it through the chair. And move around to spot this one sticking its head up. That's all you need to see. Not sure if he got that one. If he hit in the head, it'd be dead in the hole. Sometimes they kick and jump out. Due to the shape of the hole, and sometimes they'll fall straight down. And you can't retrieve them. Quite helpful when they bury themselves. Looking to get a double here. You see the grass moving as the helicopter tail of that first ratty shot. Thrashing around. A little bit of a side shuffle there. It's an even ground tussocky grass. Quite difficult sometimes to get a stable platform to shoot from. Sometimes you have to readjust your feet. Not too bad on woodland floors generally where we are. Plenty of targets around here. Managed to get the pellet to go straight through the wire there. Nice big fat rat that one. Rather helpfully the back legs kicking. Thrust it out to show that the shot was good. You can see that one moving around in the background but there was no real shot there. Back to the sheds again. That's more like it. Stop for a bit of a scratch. Usually flea bag ridden things. A bit like the squirrels. We never touch them with our bare hands, these ones. Pick them up with a grabber. Put them in a bucket. Then they get incinerated by the owner. Quite a few old buckets around the place. The tendency is to put them out in the field while it's light at the right range. So they're like little range markers. That's what I do anyway. And when I've shot an area, I'll go in and pick up the rats. Check them in the bucket and then move to the next one. I sort of pick up as I go along. The bro tends to shoot quite a few areas for a while, then go and have a massive pick up and maybe have a break back at the car, get a cup of tea, reload all the mags and go again. Keep doing this until you get fed up. Or well, the rats seem to have given up. Sometimes you can put them off, and other times their activity levels cause you to stay out a lot longer than you intended. To miss the pressing of the record on that one, but you can quite clearly see the result. A wrecked rat. Those eyes do give them away very well, but you've got to be ever so careful. 
you can't just shoot at any shiny thing in the darkness it might be livestock like chicken or a duck quite clearly see that's a rat though what the eye should do to you is give you an idea there's something there worth looking at usually you see the rats here they'd give away ducks and geese don't have them it's one of the advantages of using a silenced air rifle it's a very positive identification shouldn't be killing anything that doesn't need to be killed a bit like dry firing these are nice shots let's take the head out like that wandering around the end of the sheds if I was building my own poultry sheds I'd build them off the ground by about two feet I reckon quite a way up probably a concrete pad underneath too I'd make it quite difficult for them to climb up and get in most definitely also give a field of fire underneath knocking them down and that's the last rat of the night for bro nice haul there the owner will be happy a few pictures from bro there during his pickup laying them out a bit quite a collection of rats sort of medium to large size most of these but look at them doesn't matter where they were you managed to get nearly a bucket full of them. It's always good when you get a bucket of rats. You know you've had a decent night out. There they are piled up. You spread them out a bit. Good session there. A load of rats gone. That's where they go. The owner has a fire and he incinerates them. It's a different location now, just along the road from the last one. It's chicken feed sheds. And at the back there's a load of fields. There's quite a lot of rabbits out here, as I've been told. Bro did a bit of filming before his rat session here. Is this somewhere that Brev had permission on and got us both on? Thanks for that, Brev. Brev wanted a huge load of rabbits here. I'm sort of hoping that we'll get some video footage from this place, as you'll see in a second, as he pans around. I think you can safely say this place has a bit of a rabbit problem. It's a shame bro didn't zoom out on this one a bit. Not to worry. You'll get the idea in a minute. Just how many rabbits are. There we go. It's better. Should have left it there. All around this field, we have permission to shoot. There we go, there's another one popped out the back. Bit of zoom on this one. Bro's free handing. Trying to show how many there are. Obviously you can see with his eyes got a better field of view. This place really does need a visit. There's a few more appearing. They've clocked bro by the look of it, up on alert. This is just one tidy part of this field. Just like Watership Down. Judging by the way most of them are moving, they're all in perfectly good health. No myxomatosis by the look of it. The majority look pretty clean, hopping around, quite happy. Lots of nice, lean, chemical-free meat feeding on what somebody who'd call themselves a vegetation would probably eat. They're going to be shot because there's so many of them eating the vegetables. So this is the thing about vegetarians. I do believe a lot of them, unless they grow their own, don't quite realise that there is pest control attached to what they eat. But never mind, eh? On to the rat shooting. Under the feed hoppers outside the big sheds. Little sprinkling of chicken feed on the ground. Just to get them to come out. So broken stick a pellet in the head. Not quite the numbers here there is down the road. 
there's still a few to go at. This is what myself and Bro primarily engaged in. I've only shot it once. So the commitments. Brev left us the rats. He comes here and does the main poison the rabbits. I'm sort of hoping we'll have a big rabbit video off this place at some point. In the meantime, Bro's having some problems with his camera on his NS50 night sight. I think it might be a cable. I think he's had that fixed by now. Unfortunately, got a bit of dodgy footage here. Nothing wrong with the shooting though. Not a lot of activity out here. You just got to get them to come out the bank and have a feed. So a proper good kick about that one. Nothing wrong with the shot though. Suddenly got a bit nervous that one. You can see that movement there, that's off the big fans on the end of the shed. I've got some footage. When I shot the place, I only got about one or two rats from memory. I did take some video of it. I'll probably include it in another rat video if anyone's interested. It's a commercial chicken breeder, this one. It's several thousand chickens in very, very, very large sheds with big fans on the end. And it does properly stink of chickens here, mind, if you ever smell chickens. Fans are turbocharging the air out the end of the building. Bro sat in his car shooting out the window in between the sheds with the feed hoppers on the end. They just on timed feed, feeding through the sides. Water droppers, so they got food and water in the sheds. Wherever you've got chickens, you're pretty much going to get rats. Might be one or two, but they'll be there. A big commercial concerns like this. Can't help but attract them, especially out in the fields. Tucked away in the countryside, this place. You wouldn't want it anywhere near major housing. It does stink a bit. This is the reality of how we grow our food, or rear our food, depending if you're a carnivore or not. These chickens are being made to go to the supermarket, I do believe. Look at that, sticks his head up. Invited a shot. Bro's waiting for it to come out a bit further. I do apologise about the video quality. Bro's there to shoot rats. You can see them well enough to do that. Sure, we didn't take the shot there. Might have been hoping it came out a bit further. This will do. There we go. As soon as that one sat back down, he knocked that one over. Nothing wrong with that shot. There's a lot less targets here. But there are a few. Like I said before, bro's parked up here, just waiting for him to come out rather than walking around. Just whatever shows itself in the area he's decided to camp in. There's another one. Nicely done there. That's the way to do it. That's pretty much the last rat of the night here. A short session, but there's not that many targets compared to the other place. Picked them up and that's all he had. But not bad. The owner will be pleased. Well then, bro. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like, subscribe and share. Thank you.